Today I have a product that might not be that interesting for the home users, but if you work in a small business or if you own your own small business, this should be pretty relevant. So this is the RV110W from Cisco for small business. It offers simple secure connectivity for small office and home office. It enables faster file transfer using high-speed wireless technology 802.11n. So all that basically means so far is it's a router and it's 802.11n. It's a wireless end router for small business. Okay, let's keep going. You can access files on your business network securely while you're away from the office. So by using IPsec tunnels using Cisco Quick VPN, or the Quick VPN client, you can actually support up to five remote workers using this particular router. So that's kind of cool. You can also allow guests to access the internet securely. Now I've seen the setups on some of Cisco routers, including the Valet, where they show you how to set up your guest wireless network. It's very intuitive. And this one, unlike some business class routers, actually uses an intuitive, easy interface. So that's another thing that's kind of cool. Here we go. Let's see what they have to say for themselves on the side. That's the package contents. We'll get to that when we open the package. And here is a little map of where this fits into your network. So this is a wireless N VPN firewall. So basically what they're trying to say is that through the internet, through the VPN tunnel, you can have remote workers that are securely able to access your work by bypassing the firewall that is built into the router that keeps out your malicious software attack. So that's what this particular diagram means. From here, it can go out to your IP phone, your network storage, your video cameras, your wireless printers, wireless laptops, whatever else the case may be. It uses fast ethernet ports, so you've got a four port hub that's built in, wireless end for wireless, and let's see what else they've got on the back here. So secure remote access using IPsec VPN technology. Okay, we talked about that already. And it is IP6 enabled to help feature-proof your network, easy to install and use. This we've all talked about so far as well. In terms of specifications, I actually have a better sheet than this one, so we can get into that a little bit after. Let's get it opened up and find out what you get with the RV110W. First, you get a README First disk. Next, you get a Quick Start Guide in color, showing you where to plug things in. All right. Next, you get the wireless firewall unit itself. So let's take that guy out. We got two antennas on there, so I'll show you, I'll show you this in detail a little bit after. We get a power adapter, pretty typical, standard fare, all right. And finally, we get a single ethernet cable. So if you already have a modem, then this will be that additional one that you'll need in order to connect the firewall to the modem. So let's have a look at the unit itself, okay? We've got a Cisco logo on the front. You might wanna come in a little bit closer at all, or? Yeah, okay, we've got a Cisco logo on the front. Power LED, we've got a WPS setup button, so that's really handy to have if you have other WPS supporting devices. Internet uh, LED, we've got a wireless LED, uh, LAN LEDs for the four different ports. Okay, on the side we've got some ventilation holes as well as a Kensington lock. Remember, these are small business SKUs, so these are not uh, necessarily cheap. This guy is in the mid 100 some odd range, so yes, it's an expensive wireless router, but it does have technology built in that is not for consumers, it's for businesses. We've got a reset switch, we've got the four 1000 fast ethernet ports, the one 1000 WAN port, so this guy is capable of delivering up to 80 megabit per second between the WAN and the LAN ports, so that's the hardware that we have inside. We've also got a power button as well as our power input and the two built-in antennas, so those are built in. On the other side, we find more ventilation holes. On the bottom, we've got the little wall mount clips as well as some rubber feet so it doesn't move around. And finally, on the top, we find a Cisco logo. So this guy, compared to something like its bigger brother, the RV220W, which I'll get to after, supports a very basic number of IPsec connections, so only five remote workers. It has less thoroughput between the WAN and the LAN ports. So this guy right here has a gigabit WAN port and is capable of delivering up to 800 megabit per second, whereas this guy is only 80 megabit per second. Okay. And then finally, you don't have support for SSL VPN thoroughput. So, and there's also no cloud-based web protection. What you also do get that you don't get with a consumer-based solution though, if you're just using consumer routers in your business right now, is you get uh, one year of phone tech support with Cisco and a three-year warranty on it. Very few consumer routers are gonna come with that much warranty and that much support. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and overview of the RV110W. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. 
Sorry guys, one key feature I missed is that it allows you to create separate virtual networks, so up to four of them. You can divide either your wired or wireless networks into four zones so that they can or cannot have access to each other. So that's one way that you can keep your files secure. And then obviously I did mention the guest Wi-Fi before. That one would not have access to any of your business files and it would just be a straight internet connection for you know someone visiting your company who wants to sit and get some work done while they wait or whatever else the case may be.